BackgammonGalaxy.com presents How to Play Backgammon, an exclusive tutorial. In this video, we'll be talking about components, setup, objective, moving checkers, anchors and primes, hitting checkers, pip count, doubling cube, bear off, point system, and game types. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Section 1. Components Backgammon is a board game for two players. Each player has two dice and 15 checkers, and there's one doubling cube. The board is divided into four quadrants, two outer boards, and two home boards. Each quadrant is divided into six points, making a total of 24 points. The vertical divider is called the bar, and the bear-off trays are located on the side of the board. Section 2. Setup White player has two checkers on 24, the backmost checkers, five checkers on 13, the midpoint, three checkers on eight, and five checkers on six. Blue's checkers are placed opposite of white's. White moves counterclockwise, and blue moves clockwise. Section 3. Objective The objective of backgammon is to move all your checkers into your home board and then bear them off. It's only possible to bear off checkers when all of your checkers are in your home board. The first player to bear off all their checkers wins the game. Let's watch a game between white and blue. Section 4. Moving checkers both players start the game by rolling one die each. This is called the opening roll. Both players roll the number two. If the same number is rolled in the opening, both players must make a re-roll. Now white rolls two and blue rolls three. The highest number wins the opening roll, so blue makes the first move using three two. She can either choose to combine the numbers and move one checker, or play the numbers separately and move two different checkers. Blue confirms the move by clicking on the dice. White rolls double one. When a player rolls two identical numbers, it's called a double. Rolling a double will give you twice the numbers. Just like with a regular roll, white can choose to move one checker or separate checkers like this, as long as all four numbers are used. There's no limit to how many checkers you can place on a point. Section 5. Anchors and Primes Two or more checkers on a point is called an anchor. An opponent's checkers can't move to your anchors as you're occupying these points. When anchors are placed next to each other, it's called a prime. You can block your opponent's checkers by trapping them behind a prime. This prevents them from escaping, giving you an advantage in the race. We've traveled forward in time and now the position looks like this. White rolls 3-5. As you can see, white is now unable to move any of his backmost checkers as blue is occupying these points with a 4 prime. Instead, white chooses another move, which we'll talk about in the following section. Section 6. Hitting checkers. A single checker is called a blot. This checker can be hit if your opponent lands on it. In the current position, blue has one blot on white's three point and two blots in her outer board. In the previous section, white rolled three five. He decides to hit blue while at the same time making a valuable anchor in his home board. When a checker is hit, it must be placed on the bar. White confirms the move by clicking on the dice. Blue must now use her roll to enter her checker into white's home board before moving any other checkers. Blue rolls one three. Since white is occupying the three point, blue is forced to enter on the one point. A checker is entered by moving it to an open point in your opponent's home board. If blue rolled 6-3 and was unable to enter, often referred to as dancing, it would automatically end her turn. The more anchors you make in your home board, the more difficult it is for your opponent to enter from the bar. The closer to home a checker is, the longer it has to travel if it's hit. Okay, let's take a break and talk about pips. Section 7. Pip Count in the beginning of the game, both players have 167 pips. Pips is the number of points you need to move your checkers in order to bear off all of them. Two checkers on a 24 point. Each checker on this point needs to move 24 pips to be borne off. 2 times 24 equals 48 pips. 5 checkers on 13. 5 times 13 equals 65 pips. 3 checkers on 8. 3 times 8 equals 24 pips. And 5 checkers on 6. 5 times 6 equals 30 pips. This makes the total of 167 pips. When a checker moves forward, the pip count decreases. When a checker is hit, the pip count increases. The player with the lowest pip count is ahead in the race. The pip count determines the optimal strategy to use in the game. If you're ahead in the race, you want to avoid getting hit and bring your checkers home. If you're behind in the race, you want to try and hit a checker since the pure race will leave you in a losing position. Section 8. Doubling Cube 
the game has now reached a point where blue has an advantage over white. She's ahead in the race, as you can tell by the lower pip count, and she's trapped white behind a prime. When you have an advantage in the game, you usually want to double your opponent. The cube must be offered when it's your turn, and before rolling the dice. The points won in the game are multiplied by the level of the doubling cube. When the cube is first offered and taken, the level is raised from 1 to 2. The levels can only double up one step at a time. Winning a single game with the cube level on 2 will give you 2 points. Winning a gammon, which is 2 points, with a cube level of 4 will give you 8 points. Blue doubles white, and white now has 2 options, pass or take. If he passes, the game ends and his opponent wins the number of points of the cube level. Passing an initial cube wins the opponent 1 point. Passing a redouble from 2 to 4 wins the opponent 2 points, and so on and so forth. White takes, thereby becoming the owner of the cube. The game continues, and both players now play on for the new higher stakes. Blue makes her roll. The situation has turned, and white now has a slight advantage in the game. Only the owner of the cube can make a redouble, which is what white decides to do. Blue takes, and they continue the game with even higher stakes. Section 9. Bear Off all of White's checkers are now inside his home board, allowing him to start bearing off. White rolls 6-6 six, six and bears off 4 checkers from the 6 point. Blue rolls 3-5 and moves his checkers. White rolls 6-2. Since he no longer has any checkers on the 6 point, he must use the 6 to bear off the backmost checker, which is on his 5 point. The 2 can be moved with any of these checkers. But since backgammon is a racing game, it's a good idea to be greedy when bearing off, especially when there are no threats of being hit by your opponent. Section 10. Point System These are the final seconds of the game between white and blue. White makes his final roll and bears off his last two checkers, thereby winning the game. There are three ways of winning a game of backgammon. Single, gammon, and backgammon. A single, one point, is when you have borne off all your checkers and your opponent has borne off 1 to 14 checkers. A gammon, two points, is when you have borne off all your checkers and your opponent hasn't borne off any checkers. A backgammon, three points, is when you have borne off all of your checkers and your opponent hasn't borne off any checkers and still has one or more checkers on the bar or in your home board. In this example of white versus blue, the cube has a value of 4, as it was used twice during this game. White multiplies the 1 point from winning a single with the value of the cube. 1 times 4 equals 4 points, which is the final score of the game. Section 11. Game Types There are two types of games in backgammon, match play and money game. Match play is a series of connected games where you play to reach a certain score in order to find the final winner. For instance, you can agree to play to 5 points. The first player to reach 5 points wins the match. In match play, the Crawford rule applies. This means that once you only need a single point to win the match, the cube is not used in the game. Should your opponent get a point, the following game is post Crawford and the cube is back in play. Money game is when you play one game at a time for an agreed stake per point with a final winner after each game. In money game, the Jacobi rule applies. This means that you can only win a gammon or backgammon if the doubling cube has been used during the game. The Jacobi rule is not used in match play. Practice your skills and become a better player for free at BackgammonGalaxy.com The biggest backgammon site in the world. Analyze your games with the best AI. Play on your browser, tablet, or smartphone. BackgammonGalaxy.com Play among the stars. Subscribe to see more backgammon videos. Tell us which backgammon videos you want to see.